out of a maritime hub, one man steps out of his imagination and into your reality. You are watching TDC Moncton. Hi folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hello. And we've just come back from watching Unstoppable, starring Chris Pine, Denzel Washington, and uh, Rosario Dawson. Mm -hmm. Now, the movie itself is well worth the ticket price for the simple fact that you get an action-packed hour and well, almost two hours. Yeah, well... Well, now we'll say an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, because we with had, the credits there were a good, uh, there, there were a good uh, number trailers. of trailers. And... So about an hour and 45 minutes running time. Uh, time well spent in the company of seasoned actors and actors that have just recently begun their careers and have decided to actually involve themselves in this beautiful industry called entertainment. The fun of the actual film is entirely based on there's no sex, blood or violence other than... Uh, yeah. Uh, there's... Uh, there's violence. Oh, so you know there's blood. Some blood. Yeah. If you can call a small bowl of blood the equivalent of it. But the... Um, movie itself was actually quite action-packed. It has uh, had us on the edge of its seats. And I have to say that they chose well with the actors that portrayed the uh, people that Denzel were in this Washington movie. Washington especially has a very nice, dry sense of humor in this that I appreciated. Yeah, and he also plays the, the common John public mm -hmm. quite well, which is something that's well appreciated. Chris Pine was a fresh addition to um, uh, an experienced and seasoned actor. And Rosario Dawson, who uh, surprised us with her own roles in the past, actually did quite well in this, especially playing the hard season <coughs> veteran of uh, the train industry. Yeah, but Rosario Dawson, uh, I can't think of any really bad roles she's ever done. I mean, there's Clerks, well, no, Clerks 2. Um, Seven Pounds. Yes. Uh, there's another one that I was trying to think of. I've now completely forgotten. I have an avatar, but I don't think she was an avatar. No, no, she wasn't. No, that was the uh, chick from uh, Star Trek. Mm. The remake, not the original series. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, while he's thinking about it, we just want to let you know that the chemistry and this whole entire oh, I'm not movie... thinking, I'm rummaging, I'm rummaging through, through the messages that is my brain. Okay, so while he's scr uh, scrounging around in his messed up brain, uh, just want to let you guys know that the movie is well worth the ticket price, like I said before, mostly because of the chemistry between the actors, and also it gives you a good example of what companies will stoop down to to avoid destroying their property and losing, and I'm serious here, profits or shareholders' percentages. You've got to be French the llama kidding. No, just say fuck. No. They don't deserve that F word. They're they're below that standard. No, the French Dalam is more colorful. No, I'm sorry, but the people that... Maybe not the actors, but the people they were representing in the movie deserve to be uh, raped up the ass with a rebar tied to the front of one of their engines. Okay. <laughs> Shish kebab. As you can see, he'd make a uh, good, uh, good um, uh, iron monger or somewhere. Yeah, I should have been born during the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, thank God, no. Uh, but it, this gives you, unfortunately, uh, kind of uh, Aesop's fa uh, fables that some things end well. It's not always the same thing that you'll see everywhere because sometimes better actions that deserve bigger, better rewards and recognition are never given any bigger, better recognition. But there, this is a cautionary tale that if you are starting up a company and you know there's an error and you can't foresee anything and you've already gone through plan A and you've got more time to go through plan B, C and D, don't try to be um, frugal with your efforts and the money you'll be losing. Try to be as desperate as you can to make sure that no one gets hurt in the process. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's enough of a moral uh, moral tale. The movie itself was excellent. Two thumbs up from me and two thumbs up from Mitch. So from both of us, have a nice one. <laughs>